High school basketball on Thursday, Wyoming East girls going to Oak Hill for a Class AA Region 3 Section 1 rivalry. First quarter, Chelsea Pack outside the arc, but Skylar Davidson with the steal quickly going the other way for the layup, and the Lady Warriors are on the board first. Later, Abby Russell kicks out to Davidson, who in turn finds Hannah Blankenship open for a pull-up jumper from the paint. She would connect, but Oak Hill looking to answer. Pack going to her right. A quick pass inside to Samaya Lynch, whose layup gets a friendly bounce off the rim and goes in, but then later in the first quarter, Wyoming Geese would go on a run. Daisha Summers with this steal near midcourt. Starting a fast break the other way, she is able to finish on the left-handed layup. On the later possession, Davidson outside the arc, moving toward the right wing. She sees space to try a three. It falls after a couple of bounces on the rim. But in the final minutes of the first quarter, Lady Red Devils still making plays. Markayla King receives the ball inside the paint. She sets up Lynch for this layup. However, Wyoming East will win on the road. Final score, 65-33. Millwood Trail boys hosting Sherman, tied with the lead after the first quarter. In the second, Dalton Rolo drives in along the baseline. A bounce pass to Bryson Carter, who scores from close range, and Sherman keeps the lead. But much of the second quarter will be about defense. Rolo across midcourt and inside the arc, but Aiden Lesher able to deflect the ball out of play. Patriots trying to trim the deficit. Lesher over to Bo Persinger. His shot rolls off the rim. Aiden Isaacs with the rebound, and he scores on the putback. That gets Millwood Trail to within five, but Sherman would respond. Chris Abbott driving in from the left wing. His first shot is off target, but Abbott secures his own rebound, and he'll get the basket from the right side. Then in the final minutes of the second quarter, Matt Light thinks about three from the wing. Instead, he heads inside the paint, putting up a shot that rolls around, and it goes in. But the tide able to maintain the lead. Abbott drives in from the left. The ball is deflected to R.J. Klein, who will score as Sherman wins on the road. Final score, 52-41.